Hey folks, this is Nick Hawks with Gristle King walking through how you use line of sight to determine whether or not your antenna should be able to see another antenna. I'm going to use Helium Vision. I'm the most familiar with it. I use it all the time. You can use a ton of other line of sight tools out there. They're all doing the same thing. They're showing you what might be in the way in the line of sight between your antenna and another antenna. So here we are in, uh, was it just south of Toronto, lovely Hamilton, up in uh, Canada, America's hat. And... Uh, <laughs> And we're going to check and see like, okay, if we were this hotspot and we thought we wanted to be able to see out to this guy right here, we would check line of sight. So the first thing we do is use our little measuring tool, which is this guy here. And that's 16.82 kilometers. Okay, that's no problem for Laura to go that far. Um, Laura can go, I've seen it go 192 km off a three DBI antenna. So range isn't an issue. We might see, we might think having just seen that is like, oh yeah, we're going to hit that thing. No problem. But if we turn on line of sight, and again, you can use, you can find this tool in a bunch of other software. I just use Helium Vision. Uh, you will see that it is pretty darn unlikely that you are going to, if you're this hotspot, that you're going to see this hotspot because this side of the line is represented right here. This side of the line is represented down here. And in between those, you can see there's this pretty giant piece of earth. Um, and what I think the, the Hamiltonians call the escarpment is right here. So you're kind of looking over the edge of a cliff, but you're far back enough from the cliff that um, it's very difficult for you to see anything down in the valley. And so we can see that same kind of thing repeat with a couple other hotspots if we're this hotspot and saying like, oh, we should be able to see this hotspot pretty easily. You know, our distance is 11K. That's nothing for Laura. We turn on line of sight. Bam, you've got both... Um, this first part of, of Earth that you're not going to get through with a radio signal and then whatever this hill is um, at the halfway point. And so this corresponds to the, the lines um, that you're seeing on the on the map. So you are at the, uh, the beginning part. Um, so if we're looking at this guy here, there's the beginning, there's the end. So if you to turn on the line of sight tool and kind of wonder what is exactly in the middle, when we turn on line of sight and we look like we look at the middle of this, exactly in the middle is about this bump right here. Um, and so if we were to look at this and to zoom in, I'm going to turn um, about right here and start to see, uh, zoom until we see buildings and then tilt it, we see, okay, here's our problem is this giant um, cliff or hill or whatever it is right there. And we can see that anything on the far side of that hill, so anything over here is going to have a really difficult time seeing anything down here. And so this hotspot is very unlikely to be witnessed by anything that is kind of far back on this side. So this hotspot here or this hotspot here. And we can do another quick line of sight to confirm that. So here to here. And we can see on this one because we are we're tilted a little bit. We can see where the problem is going to be. But we'll turn it on anyway just so you get a feel for it. And yep, that all that earth is going to block the line of sight between those two things. So that's how to use line of sight on Helium Vision. You can use it on many other tools. But um, yeah. It's a, it's a good way to check whether or not your antenna should be able to see another antenna. And I will put the caveat in there that you don't know what the um, elevation is of any given antenna. Sometimes you'll see it on Helium Explorer. Sometimes you won't. Um, but you can assume that let's, let's go back to that example between here and here that these aren't going to see each other unless um, this low antenna. So see how it's at 114 meters above sea level. If they go up, probably... Let's say so 114 up to 204, whatever that is. Uh, um, Jesus, my fucking fast math is bad. Um, we're looking at kind of 90, 80 meters, 90 meters, I think. Um, yeah, it's unlikely they're going to go up 90 and have a 90 meter tower. So what is that, 270 feet, something like that, probably 300 feet. Unlikely you're going to have a 300 foot tower. So just super unlikely that you're going to see them. Um yeah. So that's line of sight. Um, you can laugh at my math a little bit, but uh, that's how the whole thing works. And hopefully that helps you when you're thinking about whether or not you should place a hotspot in any given location. Rock on. Gristle King out.